let's go over some directions on how you can make your virtual locker. Um, so you've got your directions page and a few slides down, you have an option for blue lockers or red lockers. I suggest you begin by picking which set of lockers you are gonna use and then you're gonna make a copy of that slide. So I'm gonna pick the red lockers. I am on that slide, so it's highlighted, and I'm gonna go up to File, Make a Copy, and I'm not gonna pick entire presentation. I am going to pick Selected Slides, and I'm gonna save that to my Google Drive. It might take it a minute to load, so let's see what that looks like. Um, and actually, I'm gonna go up here and change the name of it right away. Do not turn into your teachers something that says copy of virtual locker. Um, let's keep the virtual locker part. And let's say that I am a student whose name is Anna Smith. Um, so I'm gonna put my name as part of the title for my virtual locker. Now the idea is for you to decorate it with images that represent you and things that you like. Back on the original directions page, um, one of the pages on there are some images that already have the backgrounds removed and so they are easy to use if any of those work for you. Um, so let's say that you are a Warriors fan. You are going to select that image of that warrior um, pennant there. And when it's selected, if you do a right click or an alt click, depending on your computer, um, go to copy, then go back to your red locker and paste. Looks kind of tiny. Um, so if you grab a corner and drag diagonally, you could play around with the size of it. And you might move it around and try to see where it looks good. If you grab that little circle that's at the top, you can also rotate it. So I'm thinking that might look good hanging down inside my locker. I like that. Um, and then I could go look at the stickers some more. Um, maybe I really like to eat fruit snacks. So again, I'm going to copy and then paste and play around with the size, maybe set my fruit snacks so that they look like they're sitting on the shelf of my locker. Looks like I spilled a few, but that's okay. Um, but when I look at the other stickers, the other things that I wanna share with my teachers, maybe there's not any stickers that um, show what I want to show. So you are probably going to want to upload some of your own ideas in here. So let's go just to Google and let's say that I play the violin and I would like to put an image of a violin in there. And so scrolling along here, um, this one looks nice. I am going to alt click it or right click it. And I am going to save image as. And I could rename it. Not that it really matters. You could also keep it as image six. Um, I'm gonna save it to my downloads. And then I'm gonna go to a free website that removes the backdrop. Here, let me show you first. If I just go in here and insert the image that I just got, let me show you what the problem is. So if I open that, that is not gonna look good with the white all around it. Even if I crop it, it just doesn't look good. So website that you're going to go to is called remove.bg and it's a free website where I can upload an image. I'm gonna go to my recents and go to violin 
and as soon as it uploads it, it gets rid of the background for me. Now, if it didn't do a very good job, if it like accidentally erased some other part in here, I could go to edit and help to touch it up, but that looks good. So I'm going to download it. Now I'm going to go into my locker and I could go to insert image or I could go to insert image right here. So upload from computer should be in my recents and the name changed slightly. Um, I can tell that this is the one that removed the backdrop. Now there is my violin. Maybe that's really large for a violin. Um, I could adjust the size. Maybe I want it to look like it's leaned up inside my locker. Something like that. And I could keep going with removing the background on whatever images I want. Um, I could do that on a pet. So I downloaded earlier an image of my dog. So that is in my downloads. And she was laying on the couch with her tongue sticking out. But here I put it into remove.bg and it removed all the background. So I'm going to download it and go back to my locker and insert an image. Oh, it was there. And really, She's a pretty tiny dog, so I can adjust it so that it looks like she is laying across the bottom of the lockers. So you're going to want to keep on going and have at least six items that you can tell the teacher a little bit something about. Now, the area where you would do that is in the speaker notes down below here. So if I click in the speaker notes, I can start writing about the different objects. And I could say, I included fruit snacks because I'm hungry for snacks and eat those often. Um, I could say that my dog is a small chihuahua. Hopefully, I hope oh, I did not spell that correctly. English teachers help. Um, I can click on it. Yes, I did mean that right there. Is a small chihuahua named Roxy, and you're going to add notes for at least six of the items. Some things that you want to put on here maybe are just to make it look cute. Maybe you really want to use some little banner going across um, just to make it look cute. Oh, wrong one. Uh, maybe you want to play around with stretching out and including some little decoration across some of the lockers. And that's not something that you would have to describe. It might be you just decorating and that's okay too. So have fun with that. I'm going to get rid of that for now. Okay. Some kind of representation of you, whether that's an actual picture of you or whether that's a bitmoji or you can look up free avatars um, and try to, to do that. Um, so if it's a Bitmoji, um, you would go to the Bitmoji extension is the way that you add Bitmojis into this. Um, if it's an image of you, you could remove the background um, on that also. So I already removed the background on a picture not of me. I actually decided to use my daughter's picture so it actually looks like someone about the right age. Um, and she was standing in 
Lake Tahoe, but I removed the background using that remove.bg and it could look like she is in front of these lockers. So an actual photo of you um, or some other kind of, you could try drawing and inserting yourself. Um, there's all kinds of things that you could do there. Your name should be somewhere on the lockers. I'd also need some more items. Um, but let's say that for your name, now you could add a text block and you could type your name and play around with the size of it and what color you want it to go in. It could be first name or first and last. You do have first and last in the title of it. Um, so up to you. If you wanna get a little fancier, you could always go to Google and in images, type in your name along with like a sign and maybe it's already written in a way that you would like. Um, so maybe, well, there's all kinds of possibilities. Um, maybe Anna Street. So if I copy, no, I'm gonna save the image as, and then I already know it's gonna have a bunch of white around it that I'm not gonna like. So I'm gonna go back and, nope, where's my recents? Recent download. I could open that. It's gonna get rid of all the background, download it, and that might be a better way to show my name. Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, recents. Let's make sure I grabbed the right one. And there I have my name on there. Okay, another thing that we'd like for you to include is a voice recording of you saying your name. So I'm gonna go open another tab here and I'm going to type in free voice recorder. And it's the first one that pops up here, online-voice-recorder.com is super easy to use. When you're ready to say your name, you click record and then you stop and it lets you trim the dead space at the beginning and the end of you talking. Now, this will be good, especially if teachers tend to mispronounce your name. Um, so if my name is Anna, but sometimes people say Anna, um, this will be a good way for teachers to be able to review how to say your name. So I'm going to go ahead and click record. Anna Smith. Then I clicked stop. Now all of this straight part here, that's all of the dead space. And if I were to play it that way, Anna Smith. It keeps going longer than it needs to. So I could drag this over and I could drag the ending of it back. I could play it to make sure. Anna Smith. That I didn't cut anything off. And then I saved it um, and it downloaded it here. What you're gonna wanna do then is go into your Google Drive. Let's see here. If I go back to my locker, bear with me for just a second here. Oh, no, right here. Let's go here. Um, I'm going to go into my drive and I created a file to keep my sound recordings in. Um, and so you could go to new and create a folder. If you click on folder um, and you could call it 
sound recordings um, just to keep sound files in in case you need to do sound recordings for future assignments. I already made one, so I have sound recordings here. I had made a recording recently. Um, and then while I'm inside here, I am going to go to File Upload. And when I do that, that recording that I just made is there. And I'm gonna keep it separate from the one. So I can tell by the timestamp right now, or I could go rename them, um, but I can tell which one it is. Then if I go back into my virtual classroom, instead of inserting an image, I'm going to insert audio. And I am going to pick, hmm, I guess it could be either one of these. Let's assume it's the first one. And I am gonna want it to only start playing when it's clicked, not automatically. So that looks good. Anna Smith. And I chose the right one, so that's also good. Um, and that button is kind of tiny, so I could always make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna leave that somewhere, I can drag it around. I'm gonna leave it somewhere on there so that whoever is looking at my slide can press play and can hear how to properly pronounce my name. Um, and if you go by a nickname and that's what you would prefer that your teacher and other students call you, then put your nickname. Um, when I am in this editing mode, it doesn't work. If I click on it, it's to like move it. But if I go to present, that changes the view. Um, and now if I go- Anna Smith. If I go and click on it, it works the way that I want it to. And then I can hit escape and get out of here. Um, so play around with this, have fun with it. And when you are all done, then what you need to do is go to file and make a copy. It's only one slide long, but just go ahead and pick entire presentation. And Again, a bunch of things that say copy of is going to be kind of strange, but somewhere in the title, I would suggest that you put the period number that you are gonna turn this into. So let's say that your period one, two, and four all want this assignment from you. Make a copy that is period one, and you could put it at the beginning or you could put it at the end or somewhere in the middle, but have it so it says period one and say, okay, that's gonna open up another copy of it here. And then make some more copies of it. So once it loads, make another copy and entire presentation. I'm gonna get rid of the copy part. And I'm gonna say this is for period two and say, okay. So that way I can turn in a separate copy to each teacher that wants me to turn it in. Um, otherwise, once I turn in a copy through Google Classroom, if that's my only copy, I don't have access to it anymore and I can't turn it in to my other teachers. So, now I have multiple copies and I'll be able to keep track of which one is going to which teacher. And so that should all work.